Hello, we're live, doing a, a stream for for wee bugs. We, we made this. We made this robot to drive about, not bumping into things. Look at him go. Okay, so we're setting back. What we're gonna do is uh, add a radar to this robot. We're then gonna copy and paste them. So we have a lot of robots. And we're going to have a controller that helps them play a little game of a tag. So what we're going to do is come to our, come to our robot, go to our range finder, add one second. Excellent. Radar. Then uh, we're going to rotate it by by. We're going to put him no point no four meters in the air. Okay, uh, come down to min range no point one max range one point five. Horizontal field of view one, vertical field of view zero point three. Uh, that's it. That's our radar is finished. Uh, if you go to uh, view optional rendering, comes down to I thought it was here. Ah, yeah, here we go. You see our our little radar coming out the front. Okay, so come over here, copy and paste, oh wait, yeah, copy and paste the robot. So let's get five of them running around. Okay, and the other thing we need is another robot. It's just going to be our supervisor robot. Supervisor enabled. So now we need to change the the robot code to include the radar. So uh, this is our code from before. What we're gonna do is just like we read the pixels of the data image, we're gonna scan the radar for targets. It will then tell us the distance from the robot as well as the, the angle away from the, the midpoint of this field of view. Uh, we're also going to add uh, an if statement here at the, at the forward um, statement. So if it, if it goes forward, it's then going to check if it can see anything and it will then drive towards it. So I've already written the code here. So this is altering the speed by the angle. So it'll move relative to the target, where the target is. So if we go to our supervisor robot, come down to controller, select our supervisor controller. Um, this controller essentially uh, it finds any node on this scene tree. If it has the name Wheelbot, then it, it will remember it's one of the robots. It then picks number one and sets that as the tag robot. So the way the radars work is they will uh, report back anything with the radar cross section value set to one. So anything within here that has a radar cross section will be detected by the radar. Uh, we do not want our tag bot detected by the radar uh, so that he's not the one being followed, he's following everyone else. This gets the distance 
calculates the distance to find which of the target is closest. Um, if the target is within a certain distance and it's been five seconds since a robot got tagged, then we will switch the radar cross section from this robot to this robot so that this one's now the tag robot. Uh, let's just delete these robots for now. Go under this wheel bot and change this controller to the radar controller. And then we can copy and paste them. Okay, save the world. We'll see what happens. Now it crashes. Uh, I think we need to reset the world. Okay, so since the live stream, I changed the robot a little bit uh, and changed the world so that they got stuck less. They get stuck in the corners. Um, so here we've added something to update the, the radar to receive the target. And then down in the speed control, uh, if it's seen a target, it finds the closest one. And if that target is further away than 0 0.15, uh, which means that it's detecting itself as a target, um, that means it tries to follow the target. Um, otherwise, it should just go forward. Uh, so here, this is how we're deciding if it's uh, the tagged robot or any other robot because the tagged robot will have its um, CS uh, radar cross section here set to zero and that means the other robots can't detect him and he won't detect himself so this uh, will be true because the closest target will be one of the other robots uh, this adds speed uh, depending on the angle, so it will slowly turn towards one of the robots. So our code is set up to always select robot number one as the target. Uh, so we can set it playing. You see it's selected number one, and here he is turning for one of the robots. And you can see it's switched over to robot number two, so that's this robot. So then when he sees Oh, it switched back to number one because it'll switch every five seconds. <coughs> back to number two, and he's stepping. Let's just try and push them out of there. Uh, if you set it to faster speed, you get a better idea what's going on and it'll be easier to shift them. So let's try to figure out which robot we got, number eight. That's this one, I think. Yep, let's switch to number one. There he goes. So you can just shift the blocks a little bit while it's running, just to keep them moving. Uh, robot number four, there he is, catching up. Number three. Now uh, he's in front. So it's pretty simple. You can add as many robots as you want. You make the arena as big as you want. Uh, you could even edit the code to have two robots tag in uh, if you would like. But uh, that's all I've set up. That's all there is to see. Thank you.